Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com. And in this tutorial, I want to talk about event-driven programming. And to illustrate what I'm talking about, let's actually run this code. And this code is from our previous tutorial. We have our beautiful GUI application. And we have a couple of buttons in it. But these buttons, as you can see, do not do anything. And that's because we haven't told it to do anything. So the way that this is handled is we have to add a listener to these buttons. And what a listener does is it listens for an event to occur. So when I click this button, the listener will say, hey, event has occurred, execute this code. So let's actually close out of this. And we are going to add a listener to our East J button. So I'm going to give me some space. I'm going to say East dot add action listener. And what an action listener is, it's an interface that we are going to have to implement. So let's head over to our package explorer. Let's right click new class and I'm just going to call it button event EVT hit finish and now we are going to have to implement the interface so just to double check to make sure I don't misspell anything I'm just going to copy and paste that so we're going to say implement the action listener we need to say control shift O to import what we need. And now since this is an interface, we have to add the unimplemented methods. So right here we have our action performed. But before we get into that, let's actually uh, customize this. So for example, when I click the East button, I wanted to say, uh, east button clicked. So in order to do that, we're going to have to create a private field. So I'm going to say private string message. We're going to have a constructor. So button EVT. And this is going to accept a message. So when we instantiate this object, uh, we're going to save it here. And then we're going to print it out when the user clicks the button. So I'm going to say this dot message is equal to message. And now here action performed, which is the only uh, method that we have to implement from our action listener is just going to print out onto the console the message. So this looks good. Everything's in order. So let's head over back to our main method. Let's actually create an instance of this uh, class that we just created. So I'm just going to say east button equal to new button event. And we're going to pass in the message that we want to be displayed when we click the button. So we're going to say east button clicked. And finally, we are just going to copy and paste that into here. So we're adding our action listener. So right now, if I execute this code, you see that our GUI still applies, but now we have a listener attached to our East button. So if I click any of these other buttons, nothing happens. But if I click the East button, look what happens. East button clicked. And that's because we're listening to an event. Now, I am not going to bore you and add an event to every single one of these buttons, but feel free to do so. And I hope you learned something. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe.